These are great questions. First one, Brother Corbett, my African-American children would want me to ask this. How can we get our fellow saints past the assumption that dark skin means our ancestors were cursed? There is a statement uh, by the church uh, called Race and the Priesthood Statement. You can look it up either uh, on the churchofjesuschrist.org or, or an internet search. And, uh, and it, it speaks to this pretty clearly and powerfully, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, and so uh, I also did uh, a sidebar. I was asked to do a sidebar essay on this subject. Uh, it's, it's a four-part essay. Uh, if you did an internet search of race in the priesthood and, and Ahmed Corbett, you, you'd be able to, it'll come right up. Um, where, where I go with this is that, uh, and, and I think the, the main issue is, is the Book of Mormon. We need to remember, in fact, let me just uh, share a point with you on this. We need to remember that the Book of Mormon is, is not talking about people of African descent. I, I think most of the um, most of the uh, challenge and and discomfort comes from from that book. So let me just read a paragraph of an essay I recently wrote, and it's right here. Some people wonder if the Book of Mormon is racist. Here's an African-American church leader's perspective on why this is a red herring that we shouldn't think about for another second beyond reading this article. In the Book of Mormon, God inspired the extended family of Lehi and Sariah to flee Jerusalem in, the, in 600 BC and emigrate to what is now the Americas. When they arrived, part of this family rejected God's law and were cut off from the presence of the Lord. Then, quote, the Lord did cause a skin of blackness to come upon them, close quote. The others re retained their skin color, which their writings describe as white. According to these ancient writers, God made this color change so his followers, quote, might not mix with those who rejected him and believe in incorrect traditions, which would prove their destruction, close quote. As you can see, I, I take it on right up front. Um, and, and I understand how this could be uh, uncomfortable as you're reading to your children or to sharing the gospel with others or whatever. Um, that could be uncomfortable because we tend to conflate this ancient language with today's issues and, and today's definitions. Um, Although the nature and appearance of this mark are not fully understood, I am convinced our Heavenly Father saw this ch change far differently than how some may read it today, and he seems to have had a larger, loving, and urgent purpose for it. How do I explain this history and its purposes in today's racially enlightened, increasingly integrated, yet very sensitive world? Here are several points to understand. First, if you also, and here's the answer, brother or sister, whoever you are. First, if you also happen to be black or partially black, this is not our story. Although the book says skin of blackness, these were not African or African descended people. This reference was never an issue for our family members during our Book of Mormon reading and study. But this is a negative reference to someone's race, isn't it? No. This was a family matter, not a race issue. This is important for us to understand. Laman and Lemuel and also the sons of Ishmael and Ishmaelitish women, close quote, who became dark-skinned, the Lamanites, were literal blood brothers and sisters to Nephi, Sam, Jacob, Joseph, and the other daughters of Ishmael who were not dark, the Nephites. Throughout the Book of Mormon, as the two groups and their descendants varied in faithfulness, 
the righteous of whatever color refer to those of the other community as our brethren. And you can see that throughout the Book of Mormon, whether it's the sons of Mosiah going to preach the gospel with Alma, or whether it's Samuel the Lamanite coming to call the wicked Nephites to repentance and heal them in 13 through 16. Um, each, each of the faithful did that. Uh, the children of Ammon did that. The stripling warriors did that. Uh, others, whenever you were converted, you saw the other community as our brethren. And, 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 and that's something that we can, can and should uh, exemplify and model to the world. We, we need to be, in fact, we call each other brother and sister every Sunday and every day. Uh, we need to take that more deeply into our hearts. Um, to read skin of blackness as a reference to race or to discuss it in today's racial terms completely ignores the common and proximate parentage of these siblings. It also distorts ancient history by viewing it through modern lenses. All of this suggests this Hebrew family would not have related in the slightest degree to the current racial dynamics and history, especially those of the United States, when dealing with each other. Uh, therefore, to project modern motives or contemporary perspectives of race upon this family is totally unfair to them and very likely to deceive the reader. And, and so it, it's, it's, it, it, may be, it may be tricky to get into a discussion like this in, in uh, uh, with with someone who doesn't maybe understand that, but but that's the reality of it. And I think we as Latter Day Saints need to make sure that our love and understanding of each other, our understanding of the Book of Mormon and what it's talking about and not talking about, is key. Uh, 